Hola, hola. Hola. Hi, teacher. No, sir. Everything is okay. Okay, hey, welcome. Glad to see you again. How is the weather there? ¿Cómo está el clima por ahí? Llueve, llueve. Acá llueve, por. It is raining. Good evening. It is. Acá, acá no llueve. No, no weather. No. No. 
Okay, right here, it is raining. Buenas noches, pues por aquí ya pasó una gran tormenta, pero ya va terminando. Pero acá sí llueve. Okay, let me see how many people we have now. Oh. <clears throat> okay, Mauricio, how do you feel today, Mauricio? Hello. Uh, <clears throat> how do you feel day? today? Uh, ¿Cómo estuvo mi día? ¿Cómo se siente hoy? Ah. Uh, mm. Bueno, en español, pues un poco nervioso por lo que vimos ayer, porque algunas cosas tengo dudas ahí. ¿no? A little nervous. Ok, we are going to complain all that today. Hoy vamos a continuar con ese tema de la rutina. Hoy pregunte todas las dudas, por favor. Gracias. Ok. How have you been, don José Beltrán? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, please. How have you been? Como ha estado, boy? <laughs> the same question, but in different words. La misma pregunta, pero con diferentes palabras, ¿no? Okay. Uh, muy descansado. Largo a little, día. A little tired? Sí, no mucho. No much. Okay. What about you, Ingrid? Ingrid, are you there? Eh, pues, bastante bien. In English, tell me, tell me in English, tell me in English. What? Tell me in English. Yeah. Um, very good and working the training and celebrate with the co-workers and that's it okay what about you Catherine Beltran good evening welcome good evening and uh, in, in English Cansado, el día estuvo so cansado. Eh, right. Ajá, y. Mm, ¿Cómo se dice? Hice muchas cosas. I did a lot of steps. Okay, thank you, Esperanza. Are you there? Uh, I, don't, I don't see your face, Esperanza. It's not there. What about Sara? I don't see. 
Roxana, Alvarez, Soraya, Karen. Hello, are you there? Hello, teacher. Aquí. Me estaba organizando. Ah, okay. Estoy ahí lista. Está, ahí está, ahí está. Con los pelos parados estoy. Está. Sí, pues también igual que las demás compañeros. Very tired. Bien cansada. Tired. Sí. Pero con ganas de aprender. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, let me check out first the attendance and we are going to start with something that is going to motivate you to practice. Okay, let me check out my attendance first. America Elizabeth Cruz. Are you there, America? No. Wow, no sé por qué tengo tan poco conectados el día de hoy. El clima, teacher. Maybe, maybe it could be the weather. Por la, por la lluvia. Yes. Sí, yeah, fuerte la lluvia. Let me check out the, the WhatsApp group in order to see somebody send me something related with that. Bueno, tengo aquí, aquí en buenas noches, se me hace difícil conectarme en la clase y aquí donde vive está lloviendo fuerte. Good evening, teachers and partners. Brian, Brian, from Irish. Hola, buenas noches. Ni modo conectarme lastimadamente debido a la inestabilidad de la red. Las disculpas. Buenas noches. Llueve fuerte en mi vivo. Ah, pero ahí está ya. Hola, buenas noches. De igual manera la señal está fallando. Eh, oyendo en lo que se puede cargar. Disculpas. Soracha. Ok. Bueno. Well. I'm going to check up the attendance. Okay, American is not here. America, no. Blanca Esperanza, say hello. Present. Brian David. Present teacher. Here too. Uh, okay, this person is here. Diego Antonio. I don't see Diego here. No, he's not here, no. Okay, um, let me see, Edwin Alexis. No, Edwin, I don't see Edwin here. No, it's not here. Maybe because of weather, because of weather. Uh, okay, Giovanni is not here too. Ingrid Heraldina. Present. Oh, it's there, it's there, it's there. Okay, thank you, Miss. Jonathan, are you there, Jonathan? Yes. Present, present. Okay. Bueno, don Jose se retiró. Eh, don Jose Luis. Present. Okay. Eh, Karen Michelle. Present. Ahí está Karen, okay. Eh, Carla Lisset. Carla Lisset, I don't see you. No. Wow, Catherine. Catherine Maricela. Present. Okay. Eh, Lilian Soraya. Present. Aquí está. Okay, thank you. Um, Mayra Unice. No. Eh, Mauricio Antonio. Present. Yeah. Okay. Eh, Roxana. Roxana Álvarez. Present. Is there too? Bueno, varios de los que me escribieron ya están conectándose. Roxana Elizabeth. Say hello, please. Sara Alejandra López. Is there too? But I need that you say hello. Present. 
Ok, wow, wow, wow. Dos, tengo siete, ocho personas ausentes. Así es. Dos de, veamos, sería. Cincuenta. Wow, un porcentaje, vamos a ver. Well, ni modo. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, maybe uh, so much your classmate. Um, for different reasons, they they quit the, the 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 module. No sé, será porque algunos, por quizás por falta de información al momento que inscribieron módulo o algo otro inconveniente. Bueno, eso ya lo hablamos ayer. Que, me sigue preocupando la, la cantidad de, de personas que se están conectando. Generalmente he determinado que lo mínimo 18 personas de 20, pero hoy ha habido una migración exagerada, no sé por qué. Habría que ver los estándares de, o las razones por las cuales, bueno, es comprensible, algunos se conectan tarde por sus trabajos, es entendible. Pero abandonar así de una vez es como raro, ¿no? Así que yo les invito que ustedes que están activos acá deben de seguir adelante. El tiempo pasa y de repente si eran conocidos con alguien que inició con ustedes, le van a decir, ve, mira, ya estamos en el módulo, ya pasamos todos los básicos, ya estamos en intermedio. O de repente ya estamos en el nivel avanzado cerrando la última línea para terminar nuestro curso. Para todo hay que forzarse y eso es así. Nada se consigue de la noche a la mañana. Hay que sacrificar muchas cosas para poder crecer profesionalmente, pero eh, pues a veces se nos es duro, se nos es difícil. Y hay que pasar esos momentitos bien complejos que se tienen. No todos los días en las empresas es, es igual. Hay algunos días que son light, otros son heavy. Pero ahí vamos. No sé, cuando usted tenga, tenga uno de esos días que son light, ahí trate de aprovechar un poco más el tiempo y completar las actividades que le hacen falta si es que no va al día. Y vamos caminando hacia adelante. Okay, we are going to start now with um, the topic for today. Let me see here. Okay, I got it here. Let me show you my slides. Okay, this is class number nine. Esta sería la clase número nueve. Es la sesión nueve. And the topic, uh, vocabulary practice daily routine. That means that we are going to continue talking about the, the previous topic. Eso significa que vamos a continuar con el tema que teníamos ayer. Como ya dije, esta es la clase número nueve. In order to start, I'm going to share something with you in the and then you are going to participate saying what I'm going to ask you to do it. Let me get bigger my wheel. Okay, I'm going to click spin it, but before I need to choose one name of my list, voy a elegir un nombre de mi lista. En este caso, ya lo tengo, me voy a referir a quien. Let me see. Eres tú, Karen Espinosa. Say hello, please. Sí. Okay, Karen. I, I got a question in the middle. What time do you? ¿A qué hora es usted? Yo voy a girar eh, la ruleta y lo que le aparezca es lo que usted me va a responder. For example, let me see. Okay, what time do you do homeworks? 
Give me an answer. Um, I homework. I homework. You do be I do my homework. I do my homework. Repeat. I come with you. I do. I do. I do my homework. My homework. My homework. My homework. At two o'clock. I do clock. I do clock. Okay. Okay. Repeat esa palabra. Homework. Homework. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let me shoot someone in hell here. Uh, what about you, Luis? Luis. No, Jose Luis Beltran Peraza. Here we go. Okay. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 12 a.m. Okay. Midnight. Ojo con eso, si es. Ojo con eso de la hora que me acaba de decir. 12 de mediodía. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you say it in that way. Because if you mm -hmm. say 12 p.m., 12 p.m. is uh, a midnight, a, a midday, I'm sorry. Okay. You see, this say. I go to bed at 12 p.m. Okay, okay. 12 p.m. Ojo con el PM, como ya dijimos, el PM sería el mediodía y el AM sería en la noche, ¿cierto? No, sometimes. Ok. <laughs> ok, thank you. Let me show someone else. Um, Jonathan, are you there, Jonathan? Jonathan. Hello. Here we go. What time do you have breakfast? What time do you have breakfast? I eat my breakfast in seven o'clock. At seven o'clock? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's at seven o'clock in the morning. Okay, thank you. What about uh, Ingrid? Yeah, it's there. Ingrid, say hello, Ingrid. Hello. Here we go, Ingrid. What time do you... Wow. We are going to switch the word school. Vamos a cambiar la palabra school y vamos a decir, what time do you go to work? I go to, to work. Uh, or oh, six, 6 a.m. or 2 p.m. Okay, 6 a.m. or 2 p.m. Okay. Okay, let, let me see somebody else. Edwin is not here. Diego. Diego, are you there? Hello, Diego. No, he's not here. Okay, Diego is not here. Uh, Brian? Yeah. Here we go. What time do you do you do exercise? This is the question for me. Yeah. What time do you do exercise? I do I do exercise at uh, two p.m. Okay, at two p.m. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Blanca Esperanza. 
Are you there? Hello. Hello. Here we go. What time do you get dressed? I get dressed at five ten a.m. At five ten a.m. Cinco y diez. No okay, sé si ten se after así. five. Ten after five p.m. Ten, uh -huh. ten after five a.m. A a.m. Okay, thank you. Eh, let me see somebody else. Vamos que me falta. Roxana Álvarez. Sí, aquí estoy. Okay, here we go. What time do you? Do you have lunch? What time do you have lunch? I have lunch at 1 p.m. Okay, 1 p.m. Thank you. Um, let me see. Sara Alvarez, are you there again? No. Sara, Alejandra. No. Okay, ya pasamos todos. Yo no he pasado, teacher. Ahí está Mauricio, ahí está Mauricio. Okay, Mauricio. This is for you, Mauricio. What time do you go to the gym? I go to the gym at the 3 p.m. I go to the gym at 3 p.m. Okay. Somebody else? Can mass? Yo. Okay, I'm going to spin the wheel for you. What time do you read a book? Read a book. A few hours. I read uh, six p.m. Okay. Somebody's missing. Alguien más hace falta. Okay, anybody else? Okay, volunteer, I'm going to spin the wheel. Voluntario, alguien que quiera responder la pregunta rapidito, por favor. One of you can ask the question and somebody else can answer the question. Uno de ustedes hace la pregunta y el otro responde, por favor. Okay, don Jose Beltran puede hacer la pregunta. What time to do? You brush 
your teeth. What time do you brush your teeth? Sería, I brush my what? teeth at 6 a.m. Okay, thank you. Let me eliminate this and I'm going to spill the world, okay? Okay, somebody, somebody read the question, please. What time do you watch TV? Okay, alguien más. Watch TV at 8 p.m. What time? What time do you watch TV? Okay. Okay. Next one. Who wants to read the question? What time do you play with friends? Okay. If you want, if you, if you like to play soccer, you can you can say okay. I play with my friend on weekends, for example. Okay. Let let us stop here, and we are going to switch what we are going to do. Okay, we are going to read uh, about Leslie. I'm going to read it in a slowly way. Pueden ver la, la, el reading, sí. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going to read it. Leslie is an easel teacher at Hapney College in London. On weekdays, she always gets up about seven o'clock. She has a shower and then he has breakfast with her husband and daughter. After breakfast, she brushes her teeth and gets dressed and then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to college by bicycle at 8.30 and she starts work at nine o'clock. At about 1.30, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some fruit in her office. She finishes work at five o'clock and picks up, picks up her daughter from her, from her after school club. She usually has dinner at about seven o'clock and then she has a cup of coffee. In the evening, she watches television or sometimes she listens to the radio. She usually goes to bed at about 11. Then she made her food for about an hour. She goes to sleep. Okay, questions? 
Maybe. La última parte casi no se le, no la entendí. Como que se le escuchó una interferencia, teacher. Ok, let us read the first paragraph first. Voy a leer el párrafo uno primero, hasta donde dice nine o'clock. Vamos a, a leer esa parte y luego pasamos al segundo. Leslie is an easel teacher at Hebney College in London. On weekday, she always gets up at about seven o'clock. She has a shower and then she has breakfast with her husband and daughter. After breakfast, she brushes her teeth and gets dressed and then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to college by bicycle at 8.30 and she starts work at 9 o'clock. Okay, hasta ahí. Okay, question. Well, well, for example, what is the meaning of ISO? What is ISO? ¿Qué será ISO? ¿Será como un colegio? ¿Hola? ¿Será como un colegio? Mm. Es un college. No confundamos la palabra college con colegio. Mm -hmm. Eso sería lo primero, pero el significado de ISO. ¿Qué será ISO? ¿Alguna universidad o academia? Yes, it's a technical, technical school. Sí, pero me refiero porque dice que Leslie is an easel teacher. Easel means English for a speaker of other languages. Significa que ella es profesora de inglés en Hamney College in London. Y luego dice, on Wednesday, she always gets up about 7 o'clock. Durante los días de semana, ella siempre se levanta cerca de las 7 en punto. She has shower and then she has breakfast with her husband and daughter. Ok, pero bueno, el significado ahorita creo que lo más importante es la pronunciación, porque esa la puede usted buscar. Ok, léalo. Uh, y luego pregunte algo que no comprenda para que comencemos a leer. Dos minutos para poder revisar el texto. ¿Se me ha utilizado mi pantalla o qué pasó? ¿Hola? Hola, hola. Hola, teacher. Ay, sí, sí. No se van a salir, por favor, de la, de la, de la plataforma. ¿Nos vamos a dormir. No, se me queda. <risa> Eso, rapidito. Porque sí. Yo creo que se fue. Sí, sí. No, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Regresamos, regresamos. Y ahí nos está, nos está escuchando ya. Wow. Sí. Llevamos 40 minutos. Y no es posible que se nos... Sí, pero tuve que cerrar mi cámara para que me pueda eh, dar más... No me consuma tanto, pero eh, bueno, me voy a mantener así. Voy a informar a la, a la corporación. Ok, I don't know if somebody wants to read it or uh, ask a question about something. Estamos hablando de una rutina de una de una profesora llamada Leslie. But what I want is that you uh, pronounce in English. Porque la, la, lo, el significado usted lo puede buscar después. Entonces, pero la pronunciación en sí me interesa bastante. Y que se acostumbren a leer. Ok, who wants to read it? ¿Quién, quién desea leerlo?
Rush your hand if you want to do it. Todo el texto, teacher. No, no, no. Solamente hasta donde dice we're at nine o'clock. Vamos a, a, a ir por partes. Okay, Ingrid. Ingrid, you are the one. Leslie is an ASOL teacher at Hackney College in London. On weekdays, she always gets up about seven o'clock. She has a shower and then she has a breakfast with her husband and daughter. After breakfast, she brush her teeth and get dressed and then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to college by bicycle at 8.30 and start work at 9 o'clock. Okay, thank you. Continue, Mauricio. Leslie is a missile teacher at Hogney College in London. On weekday, she always got up at about seven o'clock. She has a shower and she has breakfast with her husband and daughter. After breakfast, she brush, brushes her teeth and get dresses and then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to college by bicycle at 8.30 and she start work at nine o'clock. Okay, thank you. Yemas. Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Leslie, uh, Leslie is an ESO teacher at Hackney College in London. On um, weekdays, she always gets up at about seven o'clock. She was a shower and then and then she has breakfast with the husband and daughter. After breakfast, she brushes her teeth, her teeth, and gets dressed. And then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to college by bicycle and eight fifteen, and she starts work at nine o'clock. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Alguien más? Tengo dos manos. Tiene que ser uh, Roxana y luego Katherine. Leslie is a ELSO teacher at Hatnight College in London. On which week, week, week day she always get up about seven o'clock. She has a shower and then she has breakfast with her hus husband and daughter. After breakfast, she brushes her teeth and get dressed, and then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to college by bicycle at 8.30, and she starts work at 9 o'clock. Let, let us continue with Catherine. Leslie is an ESO teacher at Hackney, Hackney College in London. On weekday, she always get up about seven o'clock. She has a shower and the, she has a breakfast with the husband and daughter. After break, breakfast, she brushes her, her teeth and get, get dressed and the, she takes a, her daughter to school. She goes, she goes to college by bicycle at a daughter, the, Eight 
Okay, at 8.30 and she starts work at 9 o'clock, okay. Continue, Jonathan, stand late. Okay, teacher. Leslie is a ESOL teacher at Honey. Honey College in London. On weekend, she always get out at about seven o'clock. She has a brochure and then she has breakfast with her husband and daughter. After breakfast, she brews her tea and get dresses. And then she take her a daughter to school. She goes to college by bicycle and a ferry. And she start work at nine o'clock. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? No? Okay, we are going to continue with the next part, the second one. At about 1.30, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some fruit in her office. She finishes work at five o'clock and picks up her daughter from her after school club. She usually has dinner at about seven o'clock and then she has a cup of coffee. In the evening, she watches television or sometimes she listens to the radio. She likes listening to music. She usually goes to bed at about 11.30. Then she reads her book for about Half an hour, she goes to sleep at midnight. Okay, question, or maybe you want to read it too. I don't have a question, teacher, for me. Okay, what, what is your question? Hello? Anybody wants to read it? No? What happened after she brushes her teeth? ¿Qué es lo que sucede? ¿Qué hace después de que ella se cepilla sus dientes? Se viste. Ah, ok. Get the dress. Get the dress. Get the dress. And then? Yeah. She, she, she takes care of the Okay. What about the second paragraph? About one story, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some fruit in her, in her office. Okay, Mauricio. At about 1.30, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some food in her office. She finishes work at 5 o'clock and picks up her daughter from here after school close. She, use, she usually has dinner at about seven o'clock. 
and then she has a cup of coffee. In the evening, she watch, watch television or sometimes she listen to the radio. She like listening to music. She usually goes to bed at about 11.30. Then she reads her book for about half an hour. She goes to sleep at midnight. Mid midnight, okay. Okay, midnight. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to read it? No? Bueno, lo veo que no, que no queremos leer. Yo podría leer otra vez. Yes, of course. Si, si el resto no quiere, eh, bueno, hagámoslo quien está con disponibilidad de hacerlo. Lo único que uh, hay un dato. Yo siempre dejo abierta la posibilidad de que todos puedan participar. Eh, pero si alguien está conectado y no lo hace, está esperando que le llegue el llamado por su nombre, aquí ya no se trata de eso, ya estamos grandecitos y debemos de, de, de hacerlo lo más, las más veces que podamos. Ok, adelante. Hay una mano levantada e Ingrid pidió la palabra. ¿no? ¿A quién se la cedería? Primero a la lady que habló y después seguiría eh, el caballero de apellido Beltrán, que él fue el que levantó la mano después para seguir el orden. At about 1.30, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some fruit in her hobbies. She finishes work at five o'clock and picks up her daughter from her after school club. She usually has dinner at about seven o'clock and then she has a cup of coffee in the evening. She watches television or something, listen to the radio she likes listening to music. She usually goes to bed at about 11.30. Then she reads her book for about half an hour. She goes to sleep at midnight. Okay. She goes to sleep at midnight. Okay, continue, Don Jose. At about 1.30, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some fruit in her office. She finishes work at 5 o'clock and picks up her daughter from her after school club. She usually has a dinner at about 7 o'clock and then she has a cup of coffee. In the evening, she watches television or sometimes she listens to the radio. She likes listening to, music, listening to music. She usually goes to bed at about 11.30. Then she reads her books for about half, uh, half an hour. She goes to sleep at midnight. Okay, thank you. Continue, um, Brian, I guess. Or Blanca, Blanca, I don't know. Blanca, I guess. is the problem. Okay. And then Brian and then Jonathan, okay. Okay, at about 1.30, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some fruit in her office. She finished work at five o'clock and picks up her daughter from her after school club. She usually has dinner at about seven o'clock. 
and then she has a cup of it, cup coffee in the evening she watches television or sometimes she listens to radio. She likes listening to music. She usually goes to bed at about 11.30. Then she reads her book for about all um, hours. She goes to sleep at minimum. Okay. At midnight, midnight. At midnight. Okay, Brian. Yeah, uh, at about 1 to 10, she, 13, 13, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some fruit, uh, fruit in her office. She finishes work at 5 o'clock and picks up her daughter from, from her after school club. She usually has dinner at about seven o'clock and then she has a cup of coffee. In the evening, she watches television or sometimes she listens to the radio. She likes, uh, she likes listening to music. She usually goes to bed at about 11, 13 uh, p.m. And then she reads her books for about half an hour, half an hour. She goes to sleep at midnight. Okay, half an hour, half an hour, half an hour. Okay, continue, Jonathan. Okay, okay teacher. At about 1.30, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some fruit in her office. She finished work at five o'clock and pick up her daughter from her after the school club. She usually has dinner at about seven o'clock. And then she has a cup of coffee. Uh, no, she has a cup of coffee. In the evening, she watches TV. And sometimes she listens to the radio. She likes listening to music. She usually goes to bed at about 11.30. Then she reads her book for about half an hour. She goes to sleep at midnight. Okay. Thank you. And somebody's missing. Alguien. Teacher, no. Teacher, okay, we say uh, at about or at about. At about, at about, it is, it is the same. Okay. All depend, all depend on how you are going to handle with the language. Remember that when we are speaking with American, they, they, they share uh, the way how they pronounce the words. Um, of course, I know that we are in a beginning level. Estamos en un nivel básico, eh, pero me gustaría que se vayan acostumbrando a hacer esas T en eres para que les suene más corto. Okay, thank you. I'm going to read again the last time. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to read again. Lo voy a leer una vez más a una velocidad normal. No despacio ni corriendo. Para que vayamos desarrollando la habilidad en el oído. Dice, Leslie is an ASL teacher at Hapney College in London. On weekdays, she always gets up at about 7 o'clock. She has a shower and then she has breakfast with her husband and daughter. After breakfast, she brushes her teeth and gets dressed. And then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to college by bicycle at 8.30 and she starts work at 9 o'clock. At about 1.30, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some fruit in her office. She finishes work at 5 o'clock and picks up her daughter from her after school class. She usually has dinner at about 7 o'clock and then she has a cup of coffee. 
In the evening, she watches television or sometimes she listens to the radio. She likes listening to music. She usually goes to bed at about 11.30. Then she reads her book for about half an hour. She goes to sleep at midnight. Okay. And then we have some questions related with this. Tenemos algunas preguntas relacionadas con la lectura. Okay, what is the text about? Tick one box. La palabra tick significa hacer esto. This is tick. Tick one box. What Leslie does every day or what Le Leslie likes doing in her free time? ¿Cuál de las dos cree usted que sería la opción más correcta? Okay, if you want, I'm going to give you like a three or four minutes and you resolve and then we are going to compare. Les voy a dar eh, un promedio de cuatro minutos para que usted responda y luego comparamos las respuestas. Okay.
place the text about what Leslie does every day or what Leslie likes doing in her free time? Which what one? Leslie does every day? Okay, because he's talking about- And the first, and the first. He's talking about her daily routine. Okay, what about the first question? Le Leslie gets up at seven o'clock, two or four? True, true, true. Number two, she has a shower in the morning? True. True. She goes to college by bus? False. False. It's false. Okay, who wants to tell me the right one? ¿Quién me dice la forma correcta? She goes to college by bicycle. By bicycle, okay. Number four, she picks up her daughter after work? True. True. Okay, number five, she likes listening to music on the radio. True. And number six, she goes to bed at 11 o'clock. False. 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 Okay, let me stop here. We are going to shift the activity. Okay, vamos a cambiar de actividad. Okay, hold on a second, please. Un segundo. Okay, here we go. We are going to switch the activity. We are going to make the final video with this. Okay, you got it there, click on it and try to resolve. If somebody can share it in the WhatsApp group, you can do it too. Okay, so we have 12 personas hoy. We have el 50 fraction per cent. Wow. Posiblemente sea el clima, pero también pues habría que ver, ¿no? ¿Sí pudieron abrirlo? Yes, teacher. Sí, teacher. Ok. Try to do it, please.
finish the job. I finished, teacher. Finish, teacher. Finish. Teacher, tiene su audio apagado. My microphone, I'm sorry, I do read the survey. Okay, look at the picture and read the text about Patricia's daily routine. We are going to read this um, and then we are going to practice with our own information. Okay, say, so I'm Patricia Nelson and this is my daily routine. I get up at seven o'clock. I go to the bathroom and I have a shower. Then I have breakfast in the kitchen. I really love cereal with fruit and milk. I go to school by bus at quarter to eight. My morning lesson start at 20 past eight. I have lunch in the school, camping with my best friends. 
David and Emma at quarters to one. The school finishes at half past three and I go home. At the phone, I have a snack and I play computer games. Then I do my homework in my bedroom. My grandmother prepares dinner. At seven o'clock, my parents are at home and we have dinner together. After dinner, I watch TV with my parents and my grandmother. Read her books. I go to bed at 10. Okay, question. Preguntas. Preguntas. Por ahora, no de mi parte, teacher. Okay, okay. What about the rest of the class? No, teacher. No questions? Okay, let us start reading then. I need that all of you participate reading. Ok, como ya dije, no esperemos que yo esté mencionando el nombre de todos. Eh, los que quieren eh, desarrollar su idioma lo van a hacer. Ok, Rosana. Y después sigue Mauricio. Y después sigue Ingrid. Ya tengo tres. Ok, quedémonos ahí con tres. Ok, go ahead. Hi, Patricia Nelson, and this is my daily routine. I get up at seven o'clock. I go to the bathroom and I have a shower. Then I have a breakfast in the kitchen. I really love cereal with fruit and milk. I go to school by bus at quarter to eight. My morning lesson start at 20 past eight. I have lunch in the school. Eso no recuerdo cómo se pronuncia. Perdón. Canting. Canting with my best friends, Davy and Emma, a quarter to one. School finish at half past three and go, I go home. At home, I have a snack and I play computer games. Then I do my homework in my bedroom. My grandmother prepares dinner at seven o'clock, my parents are at home and we have dinner together. After dinner, I watch TV with my parents and my grandmother reads her book. I go to bed at 10. Okay, thank you. Read it. Only a word that I would like to help you is this fruit. It is fruit. Fruit. Yeah. La I no suena. Solo suena fruit. Solo la U. Okay. Fruit. Fruit and meal. Okay. Thank you. Continue. Mm -hmm. Ya di el orden hasta el tercero. Continue, por favor. I'm Patricia Nelson. And this is my daily function. I get up at 7 o'clock. I go to the bar and I have a shower. Then, then I had breakfast in the kitchen. I really love cereal with fruit and milk. I go to the school by bus a quarter to eight. My morning lesson starts at 20 past eight. I have lunch in the school canting with my best friend, David and Emma. A quarter to one, the school finish at half, half past three and I go home. At home, I have a snack and we play computer game. Then I do my homework in my, in my bedroom. My grandmother prepares dinner. At seven o'clock, my parents are at home and we have dinner together. After after dinner, I watch TV with my parents and my grandmother plays her book. I go to bed at 10. Okay, thank you. 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 Thank you.
Okay. Thank you. Continue the next one. I am Patricia Nelson, and this is my daily routine. I get up at seven o'clock. I go to the bathroom and I have a shower. They, then I have breakfast in the kitchen. I really love cereal with fruit and milk. I go to school by bus and quarter to eight. My morning lesson starts at 20 past eight. I have lunch in the school. Content with my best friends, David and Emma. At quarter to one, the school finish at half past three and I go home. At home, I have a snack and I play computer games. Then I do my homework in my bedroom. My grandmother prepares dinner at seven o'clock. My parents are at home and we have a dinner together. After dinner, I watch TV with my parents and my grandmother reads her book. I go to the bed at them. Um, at 10. At 10, at 10. Okay, continue. No sé si iba yo o le tocaba a alguien más. Okay, well, okay, uh, I am Patricia Nelson, and this is my daily routine. I get up at seven o'clock, I go to the bathroom, and I have a shower. I have a shower, then I have breakfast in the kitchen. I really love cereal, cereal uh, with fruit and milk. I go to school by bus at quarter to eight. My morning lessons start at 20, 20 past eight. I have a lunch. I have lunch in the school canteen. Canteen. I have a school canteen with my best friends, David and Emma at quarter to one. The school finishes at half past three and I go home. At home I have a snack and I play computer games. Then I do my I do my homework in the bedroom. My grandmother pre prepares dinner at seven o'clock. My parents are at home and we have a dinner together. After dinner, I watch TV with my parents and my grandmother reads her books. Uh, I go to bed at 10 o'clock. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, somebody wants to, wants to read it. Okay, me está preocupando. Hello. Hello. Okay, hello. Me está preocupando porque los mismos que leyeron el párrafo anterior son los que están leyendo este. Y hay, un, hay varios que no están participando. Lo intentaré, teacher. Hello. Lo voy a intentar. Okay, go ahead, do it, sir. Okay. I'm, I, Patricia, I, Patricia I'm, Nelson. Okay. And this is my daily routine. I get up seven o'clock. I go to the bath bathroom and have a shower. Then I have breakfast in the kitchen. I really love cereal with fruit and milk. I go to school by bus and quarter to eight. My morning lesson start at 20 past eight. I have lunch in the school canteen with my best friend, David and Emma, in quarter to one. A school finish at half past three and I go home. I home, I have a snack and I play computer game. Then I do my homework in my bedroom. My grandmother prepared dinner at seven o'clock. My parents are at home and we dinner together. At dinner, I watch TV with my parents and, grand, and my grandmother read her book. I go to bed at 10. Oh, wow. 
vamos a ver it or not. Si alguien no quiere leer los, lo completo, puede leer solo una parte. Entre más practique, más aprende. So, I invite you to do it. Ok, ya no hay voluntarios. Ok, alguna palabra que no sea difícil para usted, que no entienda. Pero solo las más difíciles, no decir que todo. Sí, yo tengo una teacher. Roxana, permita, Roxana levantó la mano primero. Teacher, ¿qué significa can, canten? El canten es el comedor de la escuela. Aquí en nuestro país no existe. En otros países desarrollados sí ellos tienen eh, un área de comedor para sus estudiantes. No vayan a pensar que es la cantina en la escuela porque no es así. <risa> Les digo porque como en nuestro cerebro va... Puede a sonar algo literal. Va, va asimilando, va, va relacionando. Entonces alguien va a decir, ¿y eso dónde será? Ah, la cantina en la escuela. No, no, nada que ver con eso. Ok. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Esa era la misma pregunta que le quería hacer, dicho. El significado de cantín. Ok. Bueno, por lo que veo está todo claro, pero el resto no me responde. No sé qué pasa. Están ocupados. ¿Qué estará pasando? Yo necesito desarrollar las mismas habilidades en todo, pero eh, pues no sé si Karen ya terminó su ya si puede participar, si sabe lo que puede hacer, si sabe lo que puede hacer. Ah, no. Ok, ahí tengo a Catherine Beltrán. Díganme. Tell me, Catherine. Puedo leer. Yes, yeah, it's true. You can do it. That's what I've, I've been waiting for. I am I'm Patricia Nelson, and this is my daily routine. I get up at seven o'clock. I go to the bathroom and I have a shower. Then I have breakfast in the kitchen. I really love cereal with fruit and milk. I go to a school by bus at quarter to eight. My morning lesson starts at 20 past eight. I have a lunch in the school canteen with my friend David and M at quarter to one. The school finishes at half past three and I go home. At home I have a snack and I play computer game. Then I do my homework in the bedroom My grandmother prepare, prepares dinner at seven o'clock. My parents are at home and we have dinner together. After dinner, I watch TV with my parents and my grandmother read her book. I go to, I go, I go to bed at 10. 10. Okay, thank you. Okay, somebody else? No? Okay, I'm going to, to continue then. If you don't want to read it, let us continue then. We have uh, some question here. This is the uh, one activity related with the reading. This is an activity related with the lectura. Are the sentences true or false? Or read the false sentence. Son estas oraciones verdaderas o falsas, corrija la que está, no está bien. For example, uh, let me say, Patricia gets up at 8 o'clock. 2 o'clock, you are going to write down the letter. 
And if it is wrong, you are going to write down the correct one. Okay, I'm going to give you like a uh, five minutes in order that you can resolve. Les voy a dar un promedio de qué? Cinco, seis minutos para que ustedes la puedan escribir. Y la oración que no esté bien la puedes eh, corregir en esta parte. You can do it in your nap, please. Y si gustan, pueden hacer, uh, pueden tomar una captura. Or, well, it's up to you.
Uh, please. Okay. Uh, who wants to read the third one? Alguien que desee leerlo primero, por favor. Patricia Gerard at eight o'clock. Beautiful. Es este false. 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 Patricia Gerard seven o'clock. Okay, Patricia gets up at seven o'clock. Okay, thank you. Gets up. Okay, gets up. Maria? She she loves cereal with fruits and milk. It's true. It's true. Okay, let us see. Let us see. It's cool to start. Sorry. Is that true or false? <laughs> true or false? False. Okay, we should. Be... Okay, ¿cómo sería entonces la correcta? Start at 20 past 8. Okay, letter D. Okay, letter D, Patricia has lunch at 12.45. Is that true or false? Hola, hola. Hola, hola. I think that is true, teacher. You think it is true? What about the rest? True. Oh. Okay, letter E, Patricia plays game after dinner. False. Okay, how is this? One? False. The right one. ¿Cómo sería la correcta? She played before. Computer game. Okay. And the last one, letter F, her grandmother watches TV in the evening. False. False. Her grandmother read a book. Okay. Okay, thank you. Well, I have more activities to do, but let me see what else we can do. Okay. You are going to create your own daily routine. Ahora sí ya es el turno para ustedes de crear su propia rutina with all the information that is necessary. You are going to have like uh, seven minutes to do it and then we are going to have 10 minutes to share it, okay? Okay, try to do it now, please. You, you don't need to write down everything what you are going to say. No necesita escribir todo lo que va a decir. Trate de organizar su mente, sus ideas. Y comenzamos desde la hora que se despierta, se levanta, at the time that you leave your home in order to go to your job, at what time do you start uh, your job? Yeah, it could be something like that. Lo único que ahora sí me le van a agregar algo otros detallitos. Y ya tratemos de hacerlo como sin, sin tanto auxilio del cuaderno, porque hemos estado hablando ya de sesiones sobre esta actividad. Okay, any question I'm going to be here. Si alguien tiene alguna pregunta, voy a estar acá. Cuando el tiempo haya finalizado, yo voy a elegir a uno de ustedes que va a iniciar. 
ya no los voy a dejar así voluntarios porque no, no, no están participando. Entonces, ahora vamos a hacerlo democráticamente. Ustedes. Así que trabajando, por favor. Okay, as soon as you finish, let me know, please. 
tan pronto considere que ha finalizado, me va avisando. No es necesario que sea tan largo, ¿verdad? No es necesario. What I want is the, the, the sequence that you are going to follow in order to talk about your daily routine. No es que me van a hacer un, un testamento, una página larga. Quiero, lo que quiero ver es eh, la secuencia que usted va a llevar, conforme a los ejemplos que hemos visto. Pero ya esa es mi información. Sí, para escribir un párrafo enorme, no es un minutos. Al menos que ya sea usted experimentado ahí sí. Yo le digo 350 palabras en dos áreas y usted comienza a escribir. Pero acá no, es un nivel principiante. Ahora recuerde que su rutina diaria tiene que estar enfocada en eh, que el 90% en lo que usted hace en su trabajo, porque es donde pasa. Pero como diría, hora de salida. ¿Firmín? ¿Cómo diría, hora de salida? Ok, eso sería, uh, I, I leave my job at, yo salgo de, sería el verbo leave, salir. I leave. Yes, I'm going to write down here. Ahí le escribo el verbo, permítame. Entonces, ya, bueno, en caso de no tener, sería I don't leave. Or also you can say I finished my, I finished your termino. Diferentes maneras de cómo decirlo, pero. Open. Okay, uh, according to the time that I have, I guess that the time is over. I don't know if one of you wants to start with your daily routine. Finished, Jeff. Okay, Mauricio. Okay, who wants to be the first one? Teacher, is it primero? Can you read my daily routine, teacher? Okay. Can I? Yes, sure, you can do it. Go ahead, sir. Okay, my daily routine is short. To start, uh, I get up at 8 o'clock a.m. After that, I brush my teeth and then I drink water for wake up all my body, right? And after that, I, I go out to, to the park with my dogs for 13 minutes. After that, I prepare my breakfast, my breakfast, sorry, and then start my work in the assigned schedule. 
Aquí quiero que me ayude a dar, porque siempre se me ha complicado esta palabra. Te la escribo. Es schedules. Schedules. Schedule. Horario. Yeah, schedule. Schedules. Ok. Uh, to start my work in the assigned schedules and answer emails and orders from different business, uh, customers or drivers. Uh, that's all. Okay. Puedo leer la mía, teacher. Yes, you can do it. I work at uh, 5 30 p.m. and book my feet at 6 a.m. Uh, then take a shower at the 6 uh, um, pardon, as 10 past 6 a.m. Eat my breakfast at the 7 o'clock. I go to the work at the 7 30 a.m. Uh, I drive, go to my job in the car. We are here at the office. I store on my computer and start my calculation. I take my lunch at 12 p.m. Return and job at the 1 p.m. I finish my work at 4 p.m. I return at my home. Play my song and watch TV at 6 p.m. o'clock. My wife prepare dinner at eat at 7 o'clock. At 8 p.m. takes take class English with better teacher Lasso. Lasso. I finish class, I brush my teeth and sleep at the 11 p.m. o'clock. My microphone. Okay, before I forgot, uh, for Brian. Brian. Until you see me on video, Brian, assign schedule. Assign schedule. Assign schedule. Yeah, yes. Assign schedule. Assign it. El horario asignado. Assign schedules. Schedules. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, another thing that I invite you to do is if you are going to share your daily routine, try to do it. Um, okay, hold on. Try to organize your ideas in your mind, and that way you are going to get fluency. Of course, uh, it is really nice that you uh, help with your notes. Un consejo que les doy es que eh, al momento de hacer su rutina, está bien que escriban, pero al mismo tiempo traten como de, de decir lo que realmente se, se, se ha quedado ahí en lo que hemos estado repitiendo. Así van a alcanzar fluidez. ¿Por qué? Porque ya esas palabras se están quedando ahí en su mente. Ese es un tip para que puedan... Eh, ir alcanzando fluidez y, y aumentando su vocabulario. Ok, somebody else wants to do it. Alguien más. We are close to finish now. ¿Puedo leerlo? Yeah, you can do it. My name is Roxanne Alvarez. I get up at five in the morning. I go to work at five forty-five in the morning. I have my breakfast at 7 a.m. in my home, my job. Trabajo se dice home, ¿verdad? Yes, job. Job, perdón. Uh, I do many things. Teach my children to read. Uh, I home at uh, 12 30 p.m. at 1 p.m. in having lunch. I take a nap at 2 in the afternoon. Then I go to the gym at 3 in the afternoon. Okay. Finish. <clears throat> Finish. 
Ok. Al que hice ayer solo le agregué ciertas cosas más, como me dijo usted. Hmm. But try to do it uh, orally. Try to do it in that way. Acostúmbrense desde ya eh, a tratar de recortar las palabras y busquemos hacerlo ya no apoyándonos mucho en ese cuaderno, sino en las palabritas que nos, se nos van quedando, aunque sea poco, pero que ya fluya, que vaya saliendo esas palabras. El esforzar el cerebro a, a recordar es lo que ayuda a la fluidez. And as soon as you start doing that way, um, at the moment that you are going to start speaking in English with somebody else, you are going to get all the words and you are going to say, wow, no sé cómo lo hice, va a decir usted, pero las palabras aparecieron así. Y ese es un proceso que tenemos que pasar. Y por eso es que debemos de instruir nuestro cerebro de esa manera. Vuelvo y redigo. Sé que es un nivel principiante y tienen que apoyarse en sus apuntes. Pero les voy invitando ya a ir usando eh, y, y, y cómo se llama, rejando a su mente. Ok. Somebody else. ¿Alguien más? Ya estamos cerca del tiempo. Solamente sería uno y los demás se me quedarían para el review de mañana. Ok, teacher. Sí, ok, ok, ok. Ahí lo tenemos ya. My daily routine is I get up at, say, a uh, five o'clock. I go to bathroom and I have a shower. I go to the my job uh, by bus. Um, in my in my job, I eat breakfast six thirty a.m. Um, I make a lot of cold customer. Um, I eat a lunch one at uh, one p.m. Um, my job finished at four p.m. I am home. I play video game with my son. My wife prepared dinner at 6 p.m. I study a new language at 8 p.m. I go to the bed 11. Only that, teacher. Hey, thank you, Brigitte. Okay, let me share something with you because uh, you need to know how, how to deal with this. Okay, ahí les envío en su grupo de WhatsApp la diferencia entre job and work. Para que quedemos ahí bastante claros en eso. Eh, no sé si lo pueden ver ahorita rapidito así antes de que nos vayamos. Ahí está y dice what's the difference? Job. Y está en español. Ok, comprendido. Para quien me preguntó eso, sí. A veces son cositas bien, bien simples, pero que nos pueden complicar un poco, ¿cierto? Ok, let me check out the attendance. Ok. Um, bueno, creo que con esto cerramos la parte de de la rutina diaria. Ya si el si por ejemplo eh, el día de mañana les digo, ok, repítamelo, pero ya con sus propias palabras, ya no con ese cuaderno, yo considero que sí serán capaces de hacerlo. ¿Por qué? Porque yo sí creo en ustedes. Yo sé que sí lo van a lograr hacer. Y eh, también felicitarles porque lo que han estado leyendo, sí, para el nivel en el que estamos. Claro, sé que algunos ya tienen algún conocimiento, pero los que sí han ido leyendo eh, son mínimas las palabras que, que, que nos hacen falta de poder tener un acercamiento más exacto y ese es el proceso, por eso estamos acá. Entonces, les felicito y a quienes no lo hicieron, invitarles para que estén siempre... Eh, en participación activa, de esa manera es que vamos a desarrollar nuestras habilidades. Pero aquí ya se debe determinarse que, ah, que me voy a equivocar, que, que van a pensar mis compañeros. Y tenemos que pensar en nosotros y que debemos de 
eh, salir adelante. Y si mis compañeros están participando, pues yo también lo puedo hacer. Así es que todos podemos. Eso sí tienen que quedarle muy claro. Bueno, ¿a cuánto le gustó la lectura hoy? Ah, ok. Bueno. A mí. Me pareció a ti, okay. Perfecto. Sí, sí, ahí veo algunos que no les gustó. <risa> bueno, así es esto. Recuérdense que el inglés tiene cuatro macro habilidades. Eh, tenemos cuatro macro habilidades. Listening, speaking, writing, and reading. Y quiera ser o no, uh, en el momento que ustedes si se ponen a estar haciendo su rutina, están escribiendo, están trabajando en una habilidad. ¿sí? Pero en un proceso natural, nosotros primero hablamos. Y después, cuando ya podemos hablar, nos mandan a la escuela y nos enseñan a escribir. Ese es el, el proceso natural. Ok. Let me check out the attendance first. Bueno, por ahí les dejé la diferencia entre lo que me habían consultado. Ahí está. Bueno, invitarles eh, a que se sigan conectando. Ya estamos a punto de, de cerrar una semana más. Significa que hemos avanzado. Y a estas alturas, usted ya puede medir y decir... Eh, he aprendido esto, he aprendido esto. Veamos todo de la manera más positiva posible. Porque de eso se trata. Y eh, esas, estas dos horas, eh, yo trato de crearles el ambiente para que ustedes puedan sentirse libres y hacer sus prácticas. Y yo les aseguro que de repente con sus compañeros, hoy que estamos eh, empapándonos en esto, de repente ustedes les, les dicen una palabra y, y les va a preguntar y les va a decir, wow, ¿y vos qué tenés? O díganle a ustedes, eh, ahorita estoy conectado con el idioma y, y ahí estoy. Así como cuando uno comienza en la universidad, uno comienza a inyectarle al estudiante y a decirle, ok, y ahora en adelante, si quiere aprender el idioma, todo en inglés. Cuando va en su casa, usted haga... Eh, en su mente lleve todo el proceso. ¿sí? Y algunas veces también un, eh, se le recomienda a los estudiantes pararse frente a un espejo, comenzar a hablar, para que se vean ellos cómo van actuando. Entonces, eso mismo funciona con todo el mundo. Ok, veamos, América Elizabeth. No apareció América. América, América Blanca. Present. The present place, okay. Um, Brian. Present. Okay, is there Danny? Aparece Diego. Edwin. Edwin Alexis. Aparece Don Miguel. No. Okay, uh, Giovanni. No. Uh, Ingrid. Present. Jonathan. Present. Ok, Jonathan. Uh, José Carlos. No, don Carlos ya no existe. José Luis. Don José Luis. Tengo. Uh, se desconectó, pero ahí está, ahí está tratando de conectarse. Perdió la conexión. Ok, no se preocupe, don José Luis. Uh, Carla Lisset. Carla Lisset, ¿no está? Catherine. Present. Ok, Lilian. Present. Ok, Mayra. Mauricio Antonio. Present. Roxana. Present. Elizabeth. Present. Sara. Y a quien no le oímos fue... Present. Ah, ok, y a quien no le habíamos oído fue a, a don José Luis porque perdió la conexión, pero ahí está de regreso. Y yeah, a mí tampoco no me mencionó. Ah, Karen, Karen, Karen. Déjame si Karen... Ok, yes, there. Present, teacher. Ah, Katherine Marcela. 
Dice, sé que no sé qué le pasó a mi computadora, pero tres antes de listo ahí, ok. Déjenme corregir algo acá. Y quiero que me aparezca un país. Ok, no sé si fue que hubo una desconexión o algunos de ustedes se me desconectaron. Ok, recapitulando, Ingrid, ahí está, ¿cierto? Jonathan. Present. Ok, uh, bueno. Present. José Luis está, ¿sí? Ya se logró restablecer su conexión. Present, teacher. Ok. Eh, Carla Lisset. Carla. No, ella no. Ah, bueno, sí, estuvo. Eh, Catherine, say present. Soraya, present. Eh, Mauricio, is present. Roxana Álvarez. Aquí estoy, present. Okay, is there two? Uh, Roxana Elizabeth. Present. And Sara Alejandra. Is there two? Okay. Present. That's all for today. Bueno, esperemos que sea el clima el que no le haya permitido a, a, a varios de sus compañeros conectarse, pero... Esperemos que sí lo hagan el día de mañana. Es muy importante eh, que estén conectados y que vayamos juntos desarrollando este proceso. Ok, thank you very much. Uh, let me see. Ahora tenemos sesión 9. Le corresponde a Jonathan Stanley. Lo que espero verlo al final de la sesión. Si no tiene ninguna consulta, pues tranquilo. Y si tiene preguntas, aliste ahí todo el repertorio que tenga. Thank you very much and I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night, night teacher. Night. See you okay, tomorrow. teacher. We'll see you tomorrow. I see you later. Bye. Partner. Ok, Jonathan. Ok, ok. Ok, en español y a colores o en inglés. ¿Qué es lo En español, en español. Here. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta relacionada con algún tema que ya hayamos estudiado o con el día, el día de ahora. Sí, para eh, No. Por el momento no, Ticho, pero hay cosas que quizás a veces me cuesta formular las ideas. Digamos, sí. la idea en español la tengo, bueno, pero sí. convertirla eh, y expresarla y decirla. El, el, ese es el proceso más complejo. Y, eh, y es ahí donde necesitamos tener el acompañamiento para poderles ayudar y que no vaya a ser eh, un proceso complejo y vayan a decir, no, no me rindo, esto no puedo hacerlo. Sí se puede hacer. Si sí, yo lo aprendí, usted puede, todos pueden hacerlo. ¿Sí? Lo okay. que sucede es que el proceso es que hay que someterse a él. Y por eso es que yo les decía que eh, entre más vocabulario nosotros tenemos, ya teniendo esas palabras en la mente, tenemos que comenzar a organizar esas ideas justamente acá. Pero no, pensamos triple porque estamos aquí, luego viene... Viene para el cuaderno y después lo leen. Entonces, pues eso nos retrasa. Correcto. Pero tenemos que buscar la forma de cómo. Por ejemplo, un ejemplo, le voy a dar un ejemplo. Si ya aprendí lo que es get up, entonces usted rapidito, usted dice, ah, get up es levantarse. Ah, voy a relacionar eso con mí. Entonces usted dice, ay, get up, y luego solo le agrega a, yo me levanto a, y menciona la hora. Y usted así va. Pero ya tenemos que tener el vocabulario adelante. ¿Sí? Mm. Eso es lo que sucede. Entonces yo tengo que darle, 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 darle para comenzar a usar lo que voy aprendiendo. Y, con, que... y cuando leo, teacher, ¿se sí. logra entender las ideas o la pronunciación todavía? No, ahí va. Es, muy, es muy baja, es muy baja. No, es un proceso. Es un proceso para el nivel que estamos, estamos bien. Entonces, okay. a medida vayamos avanzando, vamos mejorando. Imagínense cómo iniciamos la primera semana. Entonces, al final de las 40 horas, debe de verse un cambio. Hay muchas palabras que ustedes van aprendiendo. 
Espero yo que vayan ustedes anotando en sus cuadernos. Eh, sí. Tal como ustedes van oyendo. Y tratar de usar es, esas palabras eh, en las actividades que vamos haciendo. Está bien, teacher. Okay, perfecto. Ok. Thank you very much and I hope to see you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Okay, good night. Good night.